The history of hydraulics and cars, let's go. Hydraulics and lowriders go hand in hand, so here's the timeline. So in 1954, Citroën released their traction event. This is the first production car ever with hydraulic suspension. Not long after the traction event, Citroën in 1955 released the DS, another car with hydraulic suspension. Fast forward to the 1958 Chicago Auto Show and General Motors releases their dancing car with hydraulic components and batteries in the trunk. Now also in 1958, this car is built, which is a very important car in hydraulic history. This is Jim Logue's Ford from Long Beach, California called the Fab X. It's the first custom car with hydraulic suspension and the first car in California with hydraulic suspension. Now in 1958, when Jim Lowe got the hydraulic parts for his car, he went to a place in Los Angeles called Pally Supply Company. They had World War II surplus aircraft hydraulic components. So also in 1958, custom cars were getting lower and lower and lower to the ground, and the law started to crack down on it with the lowered vehicle law. And you would see cars starting to get ticketed for this, which bred the next car on the list. So a product of the lowered vehicle law, this car right here received hydraulic lifts in the front from Rana Geary in Rialto, California. It was his 1957 Corvette called the Exonic. In 1958, after Rana Geary installed hydraulics in the Exonic, it started to become a trend in the Inland Empire. And him, his brother Philbert, and his father Louis opened a hydraulic shop in the family barn in Rialto, California. Between 1958 and 1960, the Aguirre family really honed their craft of installing hydraulics on cars. This is one of their earliest builds. It's Garrett Gradonis' 1953 Chevy Bel Air from Chino, California. Now the next car on our list, also from 1961, is this 1955 Buick owned by Roy Arbentroth from Compton, California. Hydraulic system by the Aguirre family as well. From a 1961 San Bernardino newspaper, we have an ad for a 55 Buick with hydraulic lifts. Now another car said to have hydraulics in 1961 is this 59 panel owned by Keith Christensen from Norwalk, California. Welcome to 1962. From a San Bernardino newspaper, this 57 Chevy was owned by Tom Gang from the Clusters Car Club in San Bernardino. The next car on the timeline is Philbert Aguirre's 1961 Cadillac with hydraulic lifts. This is the first Cadillac ever documented with hydraulics. Next car on the list is Bill Franks' 1960 Ford from San Bernardino, California. Bill Franks was also a member of the Crankers Car Club, and this car had hydraulic lifts. So, in 1962, this man right here, Bill Hines, legendary customizer known as the Lead Slinger, installs his first set of hydraulic lifts in a car. And here's the car Bill installed hydraulics on. Tatsumi Gotanda's 1959 Chevy Impala, the Buddha Buggy. The first Impala ever with hydraulics, wire wheels, thin white walls, and a custom paint job and custom interior. So that's the early history of hydraulics and cars. Stay tuned for more.